and he was having a great run. You had just referenced him as being one of those that we were a little surprised running up into the top 15, but a great run for Matt Tiff ending. Oh, look who's fortunate there. Yeah, I mean, just a few <laughs> seconds earlier, <laughs> Elliot's, Elliot's going with him again. It's really See, Matt Tiff drives down to the inside of Cameron Haley, just, just like the situation we saw earlier. Got up on the rumble strips there. Well, Cameron Haley did not know that he was in there. You know, that's one right of rear. Oh, yeah, that just starts to turn him yep. a little bit. Got him in the right rear. And then he collects Menard. Yeah. Logano just misses it, but the whole outside lane and half the inside pile up. And this is exactly what we were just talking about. At this stage in the race, you can start to taste victory in the Daytona 500. You want to see that checkered flag, and you'll do anything to get it, and you know you've got to be more aggressive with those bump drafts. That looks exactly like the clash. I mean, those, all those cars, third turn, all those cars wadded up, sliding up the track with sparks flying. It just, so much. Junior does his job, gets to the bottom, and then Poole runs up into the side of Algar. Yeah, Algar just didn't get the best restart that I thought he was going to have and be able to clear the 48 car of Brennan Poole. about how slick this racetrack is, and Matt Tiff gets loose and just loses the car, and Ryan Reed comes in and hits him, and look at those two impacts, just solid. So you see he's on the outside, and yeah, Steve, I think he got a little bit free, and Got free because he had contact. I'm sorry, I just can't make out who that car is that, that, that I think seemed to get into him. Some contact was made on the 19 of Tift, and you think about it. Well, here the it is, the 24 and the two already around at the top of the screen. That's kind of out of turn three into turn four. Bagley, it's really just a shocker that only two are involved, as narrow as that bit of racetrack is. Yeah, you got that right, because as you know, Stevie, when somebody gets loose here in turn three over to four,